Hey guys, Joe Pye here at Advanced Innovations in Austin, Texas. Welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to cover two very specific micrometers. And I know that there's a bunch of different micrometers out there. I'm not going to cover all of them. I'm only going to cover two. But I'm going to start this video with a shout out to a small channel that I found that I hit the subscribe button on because I just couldn't stop smiling the whole time I was watching it. Anyway, the channel is called Model Engineering Adventures. It's got about a thousand subscribers and I think it needs several thousand more. So drop over there, smash that subscribe button, like a couple of them. And if you don't smile while you're watching this channel, well, maybe you just need to take a deep breath and watch it again because it's it's a, it's a feel-good channel and it's got some small models on there as well, which is why I got there in the first place. So let me show you the sticker. Right here, guys, I will put a link to this channel in my video description. Get over there, tell them I sent you. Smash the like button, leave a positive comment. Let's get to it. Okay, first mic up for grabs here is a Unimic. This is a Mitutoyo 1-inch Unimic. And the interesting thing about this particular micrometer is you can see that the anvil is a lot thinner on one end than a conventional mic, so it can get into some pretty small places. That would be benefit number one. If you unloosen this nut right here and look at the front of it, you'll see that there's a groove in here that you can stick a pin in. Once you stick that pin in there, you effectively have a pin mic now, which is ideal for miking up walls on round surfaces like this. This cannot be done conventionally because the width of the standard anvil will go tangent or contact in two different places and not give you the actual thickness of the tube or the thin gauge material that you're trying to mic up. So that's benefit number two. Benefit number three, once again, unloosen the nut. Yeah, I got to work that in there, right? It's been a while. Take this thing completely off. Come on. There you go. You know you're getting close when your nuts fall off. There you go. This now became a height gauge. If you wanted to measure the height from a feature to another feature, you simply hold this against the surface and you use this just like a depth mic. But it will only go flush, so whatever you're measuring has to be a positive feature. All right, so that's feature number three. That is a very handy little mic to have. And it's not something that I use all the time, but when you need something that does what this offers, there's really not a whole lot more you can get a hold of. All right, let's move on to number two. I'll put that one on the side. Number two, the blade mic. Blade mic, groove mic. You can nickname this whatever you want to call it. But this is primarily designed for checking uh, undercuts and O-ring grooves on parts where the thickness of a conventional micrometer anvil will not go. For instance, let me put my pieces back. There you go. If you were to make a small part that looked like this, you have a miniature crankshaft. You got all these journals, you got some that are throwing rods, some that are on mains. You can get in there with a standard mic and check your part. But when it comes time to get down onto some of these other journals, how do you do that? You know, the only way to do that is with one of these guys. Because that will get in there and it will check it. You can see the benefit of that. It's also very good for measuring thread reliefs. O-ring grooves and thread reliefs are the primary use for this particular uh, micrometer here at my shop. And it's friction thin, well, just like everything else. So you can only go so far before it starts to ratchet and it will not over torque. Some of these also have bevels on them. So if you're measuring a radial an undercut that's done with a ball nose type tool, it'll still get as close to the bottom of the tangent as possible. And if not, then throw a couple of pins in there and measure over the pins with a conventional mic. Anyway, I told you this was going to be a shorty. There are links for these micrometers. We're going to go with a Shars link in the video description because I can't find a Fowler 1 inch on Amazon. And the Mitted Toyo Anvil Mic, Uni Mic is uh, linked directly as well. Anyway, check them out. If you don't have these and you've run across that as an issue, now you've got a couple solutions. Thanks for watching, guys. Shorty video, end of the month. Thank you for all your positive comments, likes, and views. Wherever you are in the world, hope you're well, happy, and safe. All of the above, Joe Pye, Advanced Innovations.